All right, so let us answer this question before us. It is taken from VCAR 2004, paper two. It says, all the activities and their duration in hours in a project at, a, at the quarry are shown in the network diagram below. The minimum completion time required for completing the entire project is 30 hours. All right, they immediately have told me that the total time to complete this is 30 hours. So I'll put a 30 here just to start with. It now says for each activity in this project, table one shows the duration, the early starting time and the later starting time, complete the missing times in table one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to begin with my forward and backward scanning. Start with forward scanning, put a zero to begin with. And now let's go grab a green pen and we start forward scanning. This will be six, this will be five. This is five plus four, uh, two is seven, circle the bigger number. 7 plus 4 is going to be 11, 11 plus 4 is going to be 15, 11 comes straight down to here. This is going to be 7 plus 6, which is going to end up being 13. And this is going to be uh, 5 plus, now what is this going to be? Oh, I don't know what this is. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. So if I come down here for a second, am I told anything here? I don't know the duration of D, which is a real pain, but what I do know is that the earliest start time for D is five. So, okay, that's not much help for me. But what's the early start time of H? All right, H, the early start time is nine. Okay, so that might means that the earliest start time for this is going to be nine. So in other words, five plus what is nine? This has to be, I'll do it in orange, four. So it's going to be, if I come down here, duration four. All right, let's keep going forwards. All right, so this is nine. And now if I go nine plus three, nine plus three is going to be 12. 13 is the biggest. All right, 15 plus three is going to be 18. And then I'm going to go 13 plus two is going to be 15. 18 is bigger. 18 plus what gives me 30? 18 plus what gives me 30? 18 plus 12 gives me 30. So this has to be 12 there. So the duration of K is 12. Perfect. Now I'm going to do my backward scanning because I need to figure out some LSTs here as well. So if I do my backward scanning now, I'm going to go 30 minus 12 is going to be 18. Then I'll go 18 minus, 18 minus 3 is going to be 15. 15 minus 4 is going to be 11. Uh, now I need to go 11 minus 4 is going to be what? 11 minus 4 is going to be seven. Uh, now I'll come back here for a moment. 18 minus two is going to be 16. Uh, 16 minus six is going to be 10. Whenever you have two numbers and you're going backwards, you circle the smaller number. Seven minus six is going to be one. All right, we'll come back here. 16 minus three is going to be 13. 13 minus four is going to be nine. I will come here for a second. This was seven, seven minus two, 7 minus 2 uh, is going to be 5. Circle the smaller number. 5 minus 5 will be 0. All right. Now that I've done that, I can figure out my pathway, my uh, critical pathway. It's going to be this. It's going to be 0, 0, 5, 5, 7, 7, 11. Now, this will be 11, 11. 15, 15, 18, 18, all the way to the end there. So that is what it's going to look like right there. Now, let me finish by filling in all of these now. All right, so my LST here is going to be, what's my LST for A? So here is A, my LST is going to be one. Uh, for F, my LST, where is F? Mm, there it is. For F, my LST is going to be 10, 10 there. And we're done, write down the critical path. It's going to be B, C, E, G, J, K. We'll come here and we'll write that in. B, C, E, G, J, K. B, C, E, G, B, C, E, G, J, K. There you go. Hopefully you found this helpful. And hopefully you can see, like I feel that this is a far better technique than using uh, the boxes. So using this technique here. I feel like this is much easier to read, but that's just my opinion. You may like the other way better.